Second of our 1,000 metre dash races is race four. This is for class three company. Forza Angel will head the way. It's 133 for Douglas White. E Super Mega Heart crossover noseband the first time. We have Flying Bonus coming to Happy Valley for the first time. Blinkers come off of Goko, who carries Saddlecloth number nine. Special Stars has drawn Barrier One after being narrowly defeated as a short price favourite last start. All Best Friends, very close to a drop in grade, drawn five for Matthew Poon, who has a small claim. Now, Chun Fa, most beautiful, special stars and beauty time have all been there in the last 30 days. Special stars in particular, as you can tell from that graphic. And there should be some good pace in this uh, fourth race. We know that Flying Bonus has been able to lead over 1,200 metres, so he should have enough uh, zip here from gate number three to uh, hold out the lights of E-Super, who we know likes to go forward as uh, well. Uh, most beautiful. Should get a nice run through uh, on the inside. Forza Angel actually led last time out, but has drawn gate number seven, so might be able to get across to a handy position. California Gung Ho could get caught wide. Quite a well-rated horse now is E-Super, and his last piece of track work uh, it was been pretty good, actually. This horse... Looks like he's back to some of his better form and uh, he's won off a lot higher mark. And it wasn't a bad run last time behind Telecom Brothers, who is winning them in a row at the moment. So he's definitely on the prove. Mega Heart, uh, he's uh, with Michael Chang now, of course. The cross noseband will go back on him, or go on him, sorry, for the first time. He, he's been finishing off his races OK. He's got a wide draw once again, but he's pretty fit horse now. And he's up in Chung Fa, I thought would show the favourite special stars. He's likely to be the shortest prize favourite of the night, or one of them at least anyway. And you can see his work up there has been pretty good. So he's been backwards and forwards. That he has, yep. He's going to be favourite for a while, I would think, in his races. We're going to focus on him to start with. He was a very short price favourite here, forty, in fact. Narrowly beaten by Thou Shao Sing, who just kicked strongly enough to beat him. But uh, with this effort, he goes up three points, finds himself at the bottom now of Class 3. Yeah, so he's gone up a grade here. I thought this point here he was just going to run straight on past uh, the rest of them, including Thou Shall Sing right about here, and then Thou Shall Sing really digs in and hangs tough over the concluding stages. So he was only just beaten last time out. We know that he won uh, really well uh, mm. here two starts ago with Colin Keane on board. So he's my idea of the winner, but you won't get rich off... Do you, think, uh, yeah. at the Do you think it was a bit of immaturity there, Paul, him not going past Thou Sao Sing or Thou Sao Sheng kicking back through? Well, he was a 1,000 metres for Thou Sao Sing and he was rock-hard fit, so mm. I think he just got beaten on the bob. So, yeah, look, he's going to start short again, as Tom said, but uh, he does look the likely winner. All right, we'll move on to E-Super. Paul highlighted the fact that he's quite well-placed and uh, I think he's a genuine chance in the race. Mega Heart... Been coming along nicely for Michael Chang. I think Demon Rocks has got plenty to find. Yeah, look, I, I think uh, this this horse here, the um, E Super, could be the hardest to beat. He's going to be uh, on the pace. He's one off a rating of 78. He seems to be back to some sort of form here. Uh, his track work's been good, and he's uh, he's well rated. So. Yeah, I've got him in the numbers for sure. He's got a good record on the class, does he? Mm. Super. The one out of that race uh, to watch, he ran ninth last start, Demon's Rock. He was tailed off early in that race at Chartin uh, last time out, but he actually ran through the line quite nicely, so he's not had a lot of luck so far. He's had, what, six starts here for Zilch so far, but I think that run last start was quite encouraging. A little long shot, perhaps? Mm, potentially. Mm. All right, we'll have to wait and see. California Gung Ho, who ran a much better race at two starts ago behind Speedy King. That's the run we're looking at. Um, left Michael Friedman's yard. This was the first performance that he put in after doing so. Yeah, this is his only start he's had in Hong Kong over a thousand metres. Obviously, he has to come to Happy Valley and do it now. He's got like a little, little bit of a tricky draw, but Sylvester de Souza, uh, he's going to have to try and slot in somewhere with California going home. But mm. I thought a thousand might be his go, so I found a spot for him. His best run was that effort, and mm. he wasn't too bad last time out, I thought, on the all weather. He had an awkward gait on that occasion. He's drawn a little bit wide here as well. Yeah, that turned me off as well, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did find himself in the frame. And most beautiful, has been quite a revelation this season. He took an eternity to break through for his first win, but he's been as solid as a rock all season. He's a horse that won over a lot longer when he was over in Australia. He's come here and now he's performed really well off strong paces, off sort of 1,200 metres and also off 1,000, this, this distance here. If they do go fast in front, he's the one that's going to be finishing the hardest. The horse that finished in front of him there has won three on the trot, Telecom Brothers. Yeah, he's going exceptionally well. Goes round in our last race on the programme. Didn't mind that run from Most Beautiful. He's been up at Chungfa recently as well. Well, Sounds to me like he's super few, maybe, Paul? No, I'm going to stick with superstars, okay. uh, special stars, I should say. He looks he looks the one real tough to beat here. He's super, I think, will give him the hardest to beat, though. 
And if anything does go wrong with the favourite, uh, E Super in there for second. California Gung Ho, a good run over a thousand from him last time. I'm going to put Most Beautiful in for fourth because he's a horse that does run this course pretty well and has won over the thousand metres this season. Ten, two, six, and seven. I'll go Exotics though because Special Stars has come up very short. Mm. I've gone with special stars as well. Um, got the same numbers as Paul. In fact, just mixed them around a little bit, but uh, can't find anything to beat special stars. California Gung Ho, I've stuck him into the mix. Most beautiful in E Super. I couldn't find a spot the end for Demons Rock. It was uh, the wide stall of Gate 11, which just turned me off a little. 10, 6, 7, 2. Yeah, I think E Super, maybe Mega Heart might be the two dangers to special star, but he looks hard to beat, that's for sure.